Hi, I'm Ron Solo, and this is why I think Nintendo Switches are getting cracks around this area of the console. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't known or haven't been following, a bunch of people have actually just been getting cracks along this side of their Nintendo Switch, or not this side, um, around this side, mostly around this side. Actually, they're getting cracks up here and, and especially with the venting. The venting is well the venting is quite thin so that's understandable but the cracks on the back is what's worrying people. So for a little backstory on why I'm making the on why I'm where I'm getting this decision actually is um, from my Lenovo laptop. It's a pretty good laptop. I've had it for a while. One time I was using the laptop and I was holding it like this with, with one hand like this and, and I was carrying it around and I moved it really quickly and it caused, uh, I doubt it, you guys can see it, but it caused a crack here, right here where the charger port is. It caused a long crack all the way here. Not sure if you can see, just take my word for it. But that's simply because I was holding it with one hand, and I guess it caused the weight to crack. And so you might be wondering where I'm going with this, but I don't know if you guys do this, but this is a habit for me since I've had the Switch, actually. So I'll be playing a game, um, for example, Splatoon 2, and usually sometimes when I'm using my Switch, I'm multitasking between my computer or doing a little bit of drawing and then going back to my Switch and playing. But usually it's like in between matches, for it's, so it's for a few seconds I'll multitask. And what I'll do is when I'm done, I'll hold the Switch like this. I'll hold it from the Joy-Con. And again, obviously I'm talking about people going in full handheld mode like this. So I'll be playing like this, and when I'm done, I'll move the Switch screen out of my face and I'll hold it only from the uh, Joy-Con area here and I'll hold it like this. I don't know if you can hear but there's actually some creaking when I do it like this and I can imagine a lot of people probably do the same thing when they're, they're, they're just you know idling doing whatever they hold it with one hand or do like this even, even maybe having your fingers here is not enough because after I started hearing this creaking sound it makes when going like this, because this isn't the most, like this is very snug on it. It won't it won't drop out or anything. I do still have to push the uh, button to remove my Joy-Con, but this isn't, you know, it's not like a permanent fixture like um, on a controller. Obviously this is permanently together. These aren't interchangeable parts. Well, obviously you can take it off, but this is one, you know, Part, if you can understand what I mean there. So I actually do believe because most of, actually all all of the ones with the large cracks on the back are also on the left side, which I've noticed. And uh, as most people are right-handed, I'd imagine when you're idling to do something else, you're going to use your right hand. And I could see that that's possibly why people are getting cracks on the back of their switches. So. I'm just saying look out for that. Obviously this isn't a definite reason on why people's switches are cracking. Um, I can't really say anything in experience to my Nintendo Switch as in I got mine pretty pretty new. This is a refurbished Switch. I got it straight from Nintendo and so far I've had no problems but this is about a month in so I doubt I'm going to have any problems. I'm just saying you know watch out if you're holding your Switch like that you know be sure to just put it down. Don't, don't do this. Maybe I am the only one who does it, but it's a pretty good explanation. It, it fits together on why, possibly why people's switches are cracking, so look out. Hopefully you don't get cracks on yours. As far as the grill is concerned, not sure about that, but have a good one.